Uh, Sean Barton here from Tortoise IT, and I'd like to introduce you to the Woo Layout Injector. The Woo Layout Injector has been around for a good year now, since mid-2016, and it's now November 2017. Uh, I've just pushed a really big update. This is version 4 now, so we've come on quite a long way, and so I'd like to show you how it works. Uh, this will only be a very, very short video uh, explaining uh, showing you what you can accomplish with it. Although I'm no designer, I'm a programmer, and you guys could do much better than me. So let's have a quick look at what's on my screen right now. Now we all know that the WooCommerce shop page within Divi is pretty boring. You get to see a grid of products. You don't get to configure them in any way. You can use the, uh, the Divi shop module, but it, it's you're ring fenced in in terms of what you can do with it. You can add it to a page and that's pretty much it. You can't deal with archive pages in general and you can't deal with um, things like your product category pages uh, or tag pages. So using Woo Layout Injector, originally uh, you could edit your single product pages and your product archives. As of version four, you can now uh, edit your cart pages, your account pages, your checkout pages, and there's a whole raft of other features as well that you can play with at the same time. Now, what I've done on the screen in front of me is, is, it's not very pretty, but it's just an example to show you something which is so far removed from what the, uh, the standard Divi WooCommerce store does that hopefully it gives you an idea. So I've created a simple three column layout with, um, with links with animation, uh, with the overlays over the top, uh, for variable and standard products, we've got a simple sidebar, basic header, and that is my store. Uh, you can set uh, up as many of these archive pages as you like. You can create them on a per category basis or have the same layout used throughout. The joy of this plugin is that it lets you, um, is that it lets you uh, create layouts in the Divi library, which is below the Divi theme options link, if you've not seen it before, where you can create um, a template and then you can apply it using the Woo Layout Injector settings page to any of the uh, of these different data types that we've got. So single product pages, product archive pages, cart, etc. cetera. Um, I'll show you how to do that in another video. I've got an hour long video that I made yesterday and that'll be linked to from the product page also. Um, but let's have a look at what I've done with it. So this is a simple grid. Uh, this is the archive page in grid view. Uh, each of these is a um, is a separate modules that you can use from within the builder and you can reorder, restyle and do whatever you want with it. Um, if I click into test one, which is the product category page, I've created a list view. Here we go. And as you can see, we're now seeing a different sidebar, or the same sidebar on a different side. Um, it, the header is automatically picking up the name of the cat category, and I've created another example of a layout here for us to uh, to go over and have a look at. So notice these don't use the overlay because I've turned it off. Slightly larger text, different uh, button styles, and obviously we've got some content there as well. I've already added some stuff to my cart, so let's go and have a look. I've added a header cart feature as well, in version four, that's a simple yes or no uh, toggle in the settings page. So that allows you to decide whether you want it or not. You'll notice it says five there, that means five products in the cart. So a slight enhancement on what Divi offers, you still, have, still can click it and it'll take you to the cart itself, but we've now got the ability to mess around with the cart a bit from, from within here. Now, if I go and have a look at the cart itself, I've pre-styled it, save this to load, there we go and pardon the gradients everywhere, this is just an example. Um, so using your Divi, uh, Divi Builder, you can create your basket page. So you could have text around the place, images around, you can reorder these boxes. Note the standard basket is a full width product uh, uh, sort of cart area and the subtotals and stuff below. So for this example, I've put them next to each other, I've added some border styles, um, I've just had a bit of a play with the Divi Builder, but again, you guys know what you're doing with this. I am merely a programmer, so go in there and have a little play. The, the checkout page, same again. You can edit this using the Divi Builder. Again, you create your layout, you assign it, and you'll notice here, this is very, very different to what you get out of the box. So what, what we've done here is I've created a layout with four separate modules. So we have our data, uh, uh, the billing address, shipping address, review, and payment. The titles are all configurable, or you can remove them. Uh, the coupon system is here. Um, you can style it however you like. Note on this layout, 
to get the four columns to look right, I've used a, an 80% row. Um, but you could have um, you could have one above the other. Uh, you can lay them out any way you like. The proceed to PayPal will take you to PayPal as normal. Um, the my account pages previously again very very dull. Now my styled versions here. Forget about the cat. The cat doesn't come with it. Or feel free to add your own. Um, you've got the uh, a similar sort of styling here, but this is an entirely separate layout. It just so happens I've chosen the same style because I like it. Um, you have a navigation module and you have a, an account page module as well. Each item within can be configured within the Divi Builder. So for instance, the downloads, I think I've added some text above and below. So there you go. You have the standard table that you get with, um, with the downloads page, but these are, these are actually text modules in the Divi Builder themselves and the cat's still there. So there we have it. Let me show you the uh, admin page. So in the admin page, oh no, I didn't show you a single product. Let's show you uh, the single product page. <laughs> so if I go and edit product one, which is a variable product, I can click the picture or the title or the select options button. It all works fine. Um, note, this is a single product page. I've included some very basic modules, title, price, add to cart, content, and the image and the thumbnails. You can do a lot with this. This can be any layout you want. And in fact, you can use a Divi Builder on a per product basis, or you can create the layouts, which is what I prefer to do in the Divi library and then assign them so every product automatically has the same layouts. All you have to do is make your layout. And then if, if six months down the line, with a thousand products in, you wanted to change your, um, you wanted to change your layout of your store or add some more information or delete some content, uh, delete some, aspects of the layout or restyle, you can do that in one place, the Divi library on one layout. If you use Divi Builder on a per product basis, you're gonna to have to go through every single product and edit them. Now, entirely up to you which one you choose. I think that the, the, the library approach is probably the best for any store that has more than a few products. But for feature stores, um, apple.com that might have a, you know, a, an iPhone layout and, and, an, uh, and an iMac layout, you're going to want those to be a bit different to showcase the capabilities of those those products. And so the Divi Builder on a per product basis then comes into its own. So you can really do it if you like. I've made my own Zoom uh, and Lightbox feature, which is an alternative to the Woo WooCommerce version. The thumbnails all work with the Zoom as well. There we go. Uh, and also if you had um, any variation choices, the image on the left changes based on the variation automatically as well, all compatible with the Zoom feature. We can change in our settings page, which is below the WooCommerce, um, below the WooCommerce uh, uh, menu. Here we go. Forget about the error, that's something else. There we go. <laughs> you can play around with your sale badges. You can turn off things like the Zoom, the mini cart, the Divi Builder. You can rename labels and of course set things like your uh, default image placeholder if you wanted to. There's quite a lot you can do there. Um, and then further down, this is where we assign our product layouts. Now we can do this on a category basis. So we choose our layout from our list of Divi library layouts and assign that to the product um, page. We can do the shop archive, um, the category archive, that sort of stuff. And then we have our cart checkout and my account towards the bottom. All of these seem to uh, seem to do have, in fact, overrides, so you can make it show one for one and another for another. I hope this has been a, a nice little introduction to the um, Woo Layout Injector plugin. Please get in touch with me if you have any questions. Comment below the video, um, and I'll get back to you and answer any questions you've got. Uh, it's a fairly regularly updated plugin, so if you've got any ideas for how, you, how you'd like it to change in any way. Um, again, get in touch and you'll probably find those features work their way into the next version. Thanks very much.